Eight Indian nationals died while serving in the Russian army and 63 Indians requested early discharge from their military service, according to the Hindustan Times. Many Indian nationals were deceived by job scams, promised employment in Russia, but forced into military service against Ukraine. This exploitation is part of Russia's broader strategy to augment its military ranks while avoiding domestic backlash and conscription resistance. Most of the Indians recruited were employed as support staff, such as cooks and helpers, but were deployed to the war front with their units. The exact number of Indian nationals recruited into Russia's armed forces remains unknown, according to the Hindustan Times. The Hindustan Times reports that 12 Indian nationals have already left the Russian armed forces, while another 63 are seeking early discharge. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed this matter during his meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow last month. The Indian side secured a promise for the swift repatriation of these individuals. The External Affairs Ministry advised all Indians to exercise caution when seeking employment opportunities in Russia and to avoid involvement in the ongoing war, according to the Hindustan Times. Indian authorities reportedly dismantled a human trafficking network that lured citizens with job promises but forced them into Russia's war against Ukraine. The Central Bureau of Investigation arrested 35 individuals and seized 5 million rubles or about $60,500 in connection with the scam. The trafficked victims, deceived by agents and social media, were coerced into combat roles, with many ending up in Russian-occupied Ukrainian cities like Donetsk and Mariupol. Many youth from states including Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala have been going to Russia in search of employment opportunities assisted by travel agents. Once in Russia, these youth are being forced to sign contracts to join the Russian army on the battleground. A Sunderland police station caught fire as riots continued to spread after three girls were killed at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class in Southport. Recall, in the English city of Southport, a 17-year-old teenager attacked a dance studio with a knife and stabbed to death three children, girls aged 6 to 9. Prime Minister Keir Starmer called the attack horrendous and deeply shocking. King Charles III sent his condolences, prayers and deepest sympathies for those affected by the utterly horrific incident. The tragedy led to mass unrest in the city. Outraged residents staged a protest near the local mosque amid rumors that the perpetrator was a Muslim, but the police denied this. The rally led to clashes between its most radical participants and the police, the burning of a law enforcement car, and injuries to dozens of law enforcement officers. Protesters attacked police and started fires in the Sunderland as violence spread to another northern city. Anti-immigrant demonstrators threw stones at police in riot gear near a mosque in the city before overturning vehicles, setting a car alight and starting a fire next to a police office, the BBC said. Police said eight people were arrested and three police officers taken to hospital following the riots in Sunderland. Northumbria Police Chief Superintendent Helena Barron said in a statement, We can confirm that three officers were taken to hospital for treatment of injuries. One has since been discharged with the other two remaining in hospital for further treatment. We also thank our partners for the significant support they have shown throughout the evening. Anyone involved in the disorder we have seen can expect to be dealt with robustly, and that action has already begun. Eight people have so far been arrested for a range of offenses, including violent disorder and burglary. A full investigation is now underway to identify anyone else responsible. Sunderland, I'm making a stand. All oh, right, I'll wait for you to come around. I'll wait for you to come We're uh, running it from Wayne, catch in front of them all again. There's thousands. No, where we get towards the end and then we run that way.